Hello there, Cancer. It's so good to see you again. I'm Mary Sue, and I'm so grateful that you're here. So today we are doing your general tarot reading. This is good from now until mid-June, so about June 15th. We'll take a look at the overall energies with the Oracle cards, and then we'll move to the tarot for more details. And if you're enjoying the content that I create, I'd really appreciate it if you would consider like, commenting, or subscribing. I really do appreciate all of your support. Okay, so let's get into your reading. White Ray in spirit trust in the magic okay I'm not sure I think you've had this card before <laughs> number 66 so it's a master number um, you know there is trust in the magic magic of something happening um, you know we have the mercury retrograde actually starts today um, and that goes until June 3rd. We have a full moon in Scorpio on May 15th or 16th, depending on where you are. Um, there's an understanding here that something is, magic is possible. Let's just put it that way. I think magic is possible in a situation um, of trying to mend a certain situation. So this is, it could be a romantic relationship, it could be family or friend, but understanding that the magic is about to happen, <laughs> however that means. Um, yeah. And you know, with the um, master number 66, uh, you know, there's an energy of the divine is helping, has been working on the situation behind the scenes for you. I feel like um, a personal issue reaches resolution. Full moon and cancer. Okay, so there is your energy. I feel like you are. You're um, some situation that you have really been, um, you know, upset about or thinking about. Even if this is a person you haven't talked to in a while or a situation that just um, has had some difficulty you are finding the resolution and the answer here is magical. It's about trusting in the magic. I feel for some of you, there's this energy of getting out of the way. So we're going to look for that in the tarot. I feel like you may be, um, uh, you know, so emotionally attached to this situation. Um, you know, there's a little bit of... I know this sounds weird, but if you look at the white raven, it almost looks like they're bald on the back of the head, right? <laughs> um, I'll put that up there so you can see. You see how he's almost kind of like bald on the back of his head. It's kind of like the, the message I got was you've been pulling your hair out. Okay, not literally, but you've been pulling your hair out about this situation, thinking about it, you know, really upset about it. Um, you may not have been sharing your feelings with other people about this situation, but it's this energy of you've been, you know, maybe losing sleep over, pulling your hair out, um, trying to figure out how to bring this situation back into, you know, resolution, into balance, however that means. And it's, it's kind of like you haven't been able to figure it out and... And Spirit is saying, you don't have to figure it out. We know that the resolution is close by. It's about allowing the situation to unfold. Because Cancer, I feel like you've almost put so much time and energy into trying to fix this that you feel almost like you're in charge of having to fix this situation. Um, and Spirit is saying, no, you're not in charge. <laughs> it, you know, your job is to hold space, to hold love for this situation and not worry about the outcome. I really feel like that is the message here um, because I feel like it's going to come together magically. Really interesting. Okay, let's go to the tarot. Let's see what we have here. Yeah, two of swords, really up in your head, trying to decide what way to go with this situation. You know, do I start a new, new, uh, you know, allow this situation to end and start a new cycle with the world card magician, uh, Gemini energy there, but it doesn't have to be a Gemini, you know, just this energy of trying to manifest something. And once again, I'm going to say I'm getting a little bit, I don't want to say controlling energy for, for you because I feel like this is you. 
um, not controlling. I won't say that cancer, but it's an energy of, of um, really being so concerned, so frustrated about this situation that it's, again, it's kind of almost like you feel like you have to do the magic trick in order to get this situation to come together. And the, the card says, okay, trust in the magic, trust in the magic that, you know, may, you, you could pray about it. You can think about it. You can hold space for it. You can love the situation, but you do not actually have to do any, I feel like they're being, you're being asked, um, not to necessarily take any action, um, except to go onto this new path. This is your present energy. You're trying to figure out which way do you go? Do you do you go in a new direction? Do you leave the situation behind and just go forward on your own? So let's um, let's go ahead. They want these shuffled more, so let's do that. Yeah, the full card is about stepping onto a new path. I am kind of anxious to see because you. You definitely have this energy of, of trying to get something to resolve here. King of Swords could be working with an air sign that's Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Um, it don't have to be, but you know, there's this sense of somebody is being stubborn here. It could be you, Cancer, kind of being stubborn in that this situation has to work out in a certain way right? Um, but somebody here is being stubborn. It could be the person that you're dealing with. Yeah, the magician card again. Mm, Ten of swords. <sighs> Having had a lot of patience in this situation you know there's part of me that is um saying that you know you're you're trying to uh, um you know you're trying to go onto a new path there okay i mean, it's almost as if somebody and it could be you or it could be the person that you're dealing with i think their energy is coming in here very strongly there's somebody that is like okay i'm i'm done worrying about this situation i'm going on my own i'm going in a new direction i feel like one person because there's a lot of magician energy here one person is stepping onto a new path and going in a new direction the other person wants to fix the situation and not separate or not have an ending come into play. So there is this energy about how can I win in this situation? What do I have to do? What do I have to learn? Uh, what choices do I have to make in order for this situation to come into a victory? And I feel like you're, you're trying to listen to your your intuition. There's a call to listen to your intuition. But once again, I, I have this energy where you're trying to have the, the issue, whatever it is, resolve in the way that you want it to be resolved. There's, um, and cancer, you know, I think, the message here is to trust, is to trust in spirit, to trust in the divine, that this situation will work out in your best favor, even if at the moment you don't feel like it's going that way. Yeah, there's uh, somebody here wants to go in a different direction. If it's you, right, I, I feel like you know, if this is what your intuition is telling you, it's time to do it. And if somebody else is wanting to go in a new direction, it's about allowing them to do that. It's kind of like that energy of, you know, if you love something, let it free go free. If it returns, it's meant to be. 
it's a little bit of that type of energy of understanding that sometimes we do have to say goodbye to somebody for a time and allow them to go out onto their path to do what it is that they feel like they they want to do or they're being called to do um, even if that's not what we want at this time this is a difficult energy cancer and i feel like with you know the eclipses and the retrograde the mercury retrograde this is and the full moon in scorpio um this is going to be playing very heavily on your heart and you are such a loving sign right i feel like this is possibly like family or friend it could be romance i don't think this um is necessarily a business situation i feel like this is a situation where you're wanting victory because you are so um concerned about holding family together about keeping the heart and the hearth together right um i feel like that is part of what you're trying to do you're coming from a very good loving place cancer but i also feel like there's something here that needs to be let go so let's take a look here's the ace of pentacles so this is what you are looking to overcome this is your area of resistance or your obstacle for the next month this is what you will be overcoming you know the ace of pentacles is an offer of some sort a tangible offer um so this could be the resolution right um but it's something that you're going to plant a seed that you can plant that will turn into something that is wonderful and beautiful and loving in long term it's not going to happen overnight but you're okay with that because you're willing to nurture it but right now this is your obstacle i feel like this is the resolution right you do you your obstacle is at this time you don't have the re resolution but you will have the resolution um you know uh sometime in the next month or so maybe four to six weeks so let's see what we have knight of wands knight of pentacles two of swords queen of swords um you know really having difficulty I feel like you've done a couple of different things trying to act on this situation in different ways um you know it's been slow progress and yet at the same time you can't see the answer the the resolution you can't find the win in this situation um but i feel like you are going to have a big decision coming up over the next four to six weeks and the decision is going to be magical you know it's going to open up the situation to be amended uh you know i feel for some of you there there is a clarity that comes in you know something happens you see the clarity of what you maybe have lost in this situation uh, waiting for this resolution to come in needing to get different perspective wheel of fortune on the bottom you just have a lot of energy of moving into a new chapter when you allow when you allow spirit to do its magic once again I, I feel like you're putting a lot of time I I'm you're putting so much time and energy into the situation a lots of love into the situation and yet at the same time it's like you're stopping the progress of the resolution and and i feel like you're you're probably going to be screaming at the screen you know because i guess i'm saying it that way because it's it's kind of like i feel like spirit's just saying please trust please trust in us please trust in the magic that we can create you know so your advice is the ten of swords allowing something to die you know allowing something to end and it's going to be painful and spirit understands that it could be you know a dream of yours that is ending a relationship um you know something that you have really been trying to hold together for a long time and it's coming into this energy of you just can't do it anymore 
It needs to come to an end because it needs to be transformed and understanding that an ending helps open up a new beginning. Um, because you have the world card. You have the Wheel of Fortune popping out a couple of times. The so Wheel of Fortune is like a new portal opening up so that new blessings can come in. And, you know, we have the Magician and the King of Swords here. You know, we have the Queen of Swords just a minute ago seeing the clarity. It's, it's almost as if somebody in this situation is manipulating it and they could be manipulating it out of love. So that could be you, Cancer, right? but it's manipulating the situation so that it can't be cleared. The King of Swords needs to take the sword and chop out the stuff that needs to go, right? Um, and I feel like you may need to be the one that says, okay, I'm letting this go. I'm moving on. Here we have, you know, the Six of Swords moving on. Literally, some of you might be moving. Understanding, okay, I have to allow this to to end at least for now so that we can all have this mending occur. Yes. <laughs> oh my gosh. Five of swords. This is just like, this is like, oh my goodness. You, okay. Cancer. I, I feel like the message here is that you're in your own way. Look at this new love balanced love once again you know libra energy coming in here you have a lot of you know sword energy coming in air sign nine of cups the the love the cup of love comes in to help balance out this whole situation and we have the nine of cups and the ace of cups nine plus one equals ten like you can have this uh, come into balance this is the resolution it comes into balance when you give up um you allow something to end it could be your perception of this idea uh, of this situation it could be um your belief around something there's something here that it, and it could just be your thought process okay um there's something that you have to end or you have to say, okay, I'm giving that up. I'll let, I'll let that die so that I can step into this. And it could, it could be a behavior, a pattern of behavior. It could be um, a belief. It could be, you know, the, the outcome, like you finally allowing the outcome of how this is supposed to work out, die, or how it's supposed to come together, die so that it can actually happen oh my goodness it's almost as if your um spirit guides and angels are just saying please cancer please let us do this for you um wow i'd love to hear in the comments like how this may um resonate with you okay oh my gosh Ten of Pentacles. It comes together. The issue is resolved. The issue is resolved. When, you know, here's the King of Wands. It's you. I feel like it's kind of like you stepping into this energy of, okay, I'm giving a, something up. There's something that you have to give up here. Okay. I'm giving something up. And in the end, when you give up this, it's almost as if you become the hero of the whole situation. I feel almost like you want to be the hero, but want something that you're doing or thinking or trying to get to work, right? Um, or your method, okay? Pattern behavior, something here needs to end, needs to end. And then you can be the hero in this situation. You rise to the top. The, the wounded warrior, you are going to be celebrated for how you you um, persevered through this situation to bring it all back into love. The lover's card. Gemini energy here. Um, you have a lot of swords energy. Uh, it's going to last for a very long time. After, after all of this anguish and everything, the happiness comes in. People are back expressing their love to each other. Wow. Death card here. 
uh, Scorpio energy doesn't have to be. And then King of Cups, there you are. You know, allowing allowing something to to die so that it can be revived. Oh my gosh, what a beautiful reading. Um, wow. Okay, so let's see what we have here. How can I be more kind to myself and offer more grace in this very moment? Okay, so let's see. Growing our self-love is medicine to this world's broken heart. When you heal, we all heal. When you give yourself more grace, you are able to give the world more grace. Look at yourself with a grace filter. You are meant to be in this moment of your life. Release the inner critic and fill in that hole with your soul's truth that you are infinite, you are loved, and you are already there. I wonder, you know, because I feel like you have to allow something to, to die, right? To end. Um, and maybe it is, you know, that um, release your inner critic, your inner critic of perhaps yourself in the situation, the role that you played in this conflict, or perhaps releasing the, the criticism of how other people have acted in this situation. Um, and fill that hole with your soul's truth that you are infinite, you are loved, and you are already there. And I feel maybe that is what needs to end, is the criticism that um, perhaps you have had of yourself, of others in this situation, filling that hole, releasing that, saying, okay, that's over, and filling it with love, saying, you know, I'm not... I'm, I'm going to look at this situation. You know how I was saying at the beginning to um, hold space, hold love for this situation? You know, that was something I was being channeled. Um, I feel like that is it. As if you have maybe been trying to get the situation to work and spirit is coming in and saying, no, listen, all you have to do is hold space, hold love for the situation to be mended. That's all you have to do because there's something here, you know, a sense of criticism for yourself, guilt, shame, um, you know, maybe feelings of rejection or abandonment, just loving yourself and loving the people that are involved. And I feel like there's more than one person because I feel like this is you giving yourself love and then also you giving love out to all of the other people in this situation. So, you know, it, it doesn't mean that you necessarily have to call them, but you could or send them a message of love, but it's holding space in your heart of holding uh, only love of allowing all the criticism, all the, you know, the hurt feelings to, to go. Just say, I'm releasing them. And we have had the Scorpio card pull, showing up, you know, quite a bit. We have the full moon in Scorpio, again, on May 15th and 16th. It's about releasing those energies, releasing maybe the pent up energy that has been bothering you. And I want to point out that all of these swords are going into her hair. You've been pulling your hair out about this situation, trying to figure out how, you know, maybe even asking for clarity about this situation. How do I proceed? What do I need to do? The thing that you need to do is to hold space, to hold love for this situation, for this situation to be mended to have a peaceful resolution in this situation where all can come back together again. I feel like maybe you um, feel on the outskirts of other people, but you want everybody to come back together. You want to have, find balance in this situation. Wow, really, really interesting. Um, and I feel like it is all about, once again, you know, just ending the... This hurt feelings, ending the hurt feelings of the ending, right? Because cancer, you know, you are such a loving person. And sometimes um, when your feelings get hurt, you can kind of almost get into a sense of holding a grudge. Um, and I, I, I feel like, you know, I mean, and that's, a, you know, just a generalization of cancer, 
um, cancerians. It does not mean that you're that way, but just taking a look at that, because I think there's a strong message here about something needs to end here and holding space, holding love for other people. There are no wrong turns. You know, if you are feeling some guilt or shame about a situation, um, or, you know, truly hurt feelings about something that has happened in the past with this situation, understanding that all of this was on your path and all of this was on the path of the other people in this situation. There were no wrong turns. Do not feel, you know, if you do have any guilt or shame, do not feel like uh, criticizing yourself or, or you know, um, it's about all of that was on the path. <laughs> that was all part of your soul's contract with this group, okay? And anything that was done to you was a part of their soul's contract with you. Um, and so understanding that sometimes can help us to release the energies of, you know, hurt, of rejection, abandonment, you know, guilt, shame, whatever you're feeling in this situation, allow those feelings to come up and allow them to be released and then fill that same void, that void with the love. And this situation, it's mended. It comes in. It's, it's good. Trust in the magic. Wow. Really, really lovely. <laughs> All right, Cancer. Um, I do. I wish you so much love and light in this situation. Please be gentle and kind with yourself while you're going through this. I do do personal readings. If you're interested, the link is in the description box below. But I do wish you so much um, tenderness and kindness and compassion in this situation. And I do hope to see you again really soon. Bye for now.